Hey everybody, Megadude454 here. Again, I'm alone. And welcome back to Let's Play Fall Fantasy 7. But before I go on and remind you, I remind you that in the last part I said I was a little ill. This part came right after that. I'm a little pissed. I lost all game audio for the last part. You probably already saw it, and you probably already know about it. I'm just stating. This pisses me off, and now it tells me, test before I record. Alright, you guys remind me next time that happens, okay? Anyway, in the last part, which should be incredibly boring because there's no game audio, we got to this point where we found an elixir in this chest. In this part, we're going to get out of here, into the Mako Spring, as I like to call it. It's a natural spring, so... Anyway, not much has changed except now there's a new materia sitting here. The elemental materia, another one of those. Go through here. We're not quite out of the woods yet. Yes, more caves. We didn't get to see these caves back in the flashback, though. At least I don't think. This will lead back out here. Which, if you hike all the way up, it'll lead to the mock reactor. Son of a gun. Should I mention that in this area you're going to get a lot of level ups? Anyway, we want to explore the rest of this cave. I think, yeah, there's one treasure chest. The Sniper CR. Alright, remember how I said in like a previous segment that Vincent is the character when given the Deathblow Materia and given a specific weapon, it will always hit? This is that weapon. It has a 255% accuracy. That means it always hits. Which makes sense. It's a sniper, so... That's all we came into this cave for. And that's really the only reason why we jumped down. I mean, you don't really need an elixir. Because, I mean, later in the game there's a glitch that I will show you and actually... go ahead and make use of. That lets you duplicate items. As shameful as that sounds. Cutting! Oh, whoops, I forgot, I was commentating. Silly me. Alright, here's that mock reactor. There's nothing special in there, you really just want to go around it. To this door. And we're back where we started. Well, not necessarily where we started, but you get what I mean. Anyway, we want to climb down all the way, quickly save, and yes, we are now going to deal with that son of a bitch that's blocking our way. Oh joy, and this next to the zero number has got to be the hardest boss yet. And yes, you will get to see me save. You did not in the last part. I'm just gonna overwrite this because there's no point in keeping it. Anyway. I really don't like you. Quickly use a tent. <laughs> I just remembered. You pretty much want to be fully healed for this fight. It's... it's a bitch. But it does have an enemy skill worth taking, so... Uh, once we get out of this battle... Alright, now... let's go ahead and take care of this jerk. Hey, out of my way! This... scorpion thing... is a materia keeper. Immediately when you start this fight, open up with Big Guard. This thing will do about 500 damage per attack. Or 300. Really depends on your level and how much defense you got. Usually you shouldn't have a whole lot. Avoid using Cure. If you got Regain, well, Regen, which is the third level magic for the Cure, then I recommend using it. Now we really want this guy to go ahead and use an enemy skill on us. And note, he absorbs fire, so do not use fire on him, and if you have Vincent in your party, do not use his limit break. It will do more harm than good. If you know what I'm talking about, which you will probably see eventually, he transforms. And when he transforms, you lose all control of him. He does major amounts of damage, but one of his attacks is fire-based, which is quite counterproductive. The Materia Keeper is kind of resistant to magic, but go ahead and just use your summons anyway. 
I mean, come on, what? It's not going to do much that bad. Hold square, and you can see back here. This is really kind of an unknown feature, and I mean, even when I was a kid, I didn't know that you just hold square and do this, or rapidly do this. Make it so that way you guys probably don't see it, or you guys just keep seeing it, and you don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Anyway. Now, once your big guard runs out, go ahead and cast again. You want to keep a shield, and we want him to do that magic attack. Barret, you go ahead and use White Wind. It'll take a bit, but this enemy skill <clears throat> is very well worth it, and I need another swig, and I'm out of water. Ain't that lovely. Come on! Do your attack, you... Don't make me wait. I will wait. Come on. Can I, can I manipulate you? And of course not. You're a boss. Come on. Ooh, ow. Do your stupid little attack before I kick your ass. As you can probably hear, I am not in the greatest of moves. Use your attack, or I'm gonna kick your ass! Okay, fine, I'll kick your ass. I am really not for it. Are you gonna do it? Because you're like one of the only few times you can get this enemy skill. It's a rare one. Pretty damn rare at that. There's only like two instances where you can get this. Well, three if you count an enemy that looks very similar to this one. Come on. I would like it if you hit me with that attack so I don't have to worry about it later in the... Do I have to hit you with a bolt? I swear, if that's the case... Well, do your stupid attack. Counter me. Do something other than normal physical attacks. They're driving me nuts. I was about to use Ifrit there. I was wanting this idiot's attack. Come on, do your attack. Okay, he's usually not this stubborn. And note I say usually. It's probably the Let's Player's curse. It's affecting the game. Do it. No, 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 ah. That attack, of all attacks, has got to be a bitch. It is the one that does the most damage out of all of his. Well, next to the enemy skill, of course. Do your attack! Come on! Seriously. I'm not getting any younger. I'm like... Unlike, like, Mr. Button, I think, isn't it? Oh, right. This. He will cast Cure 2 on, him, on himself and postpone the inevitable. Which will be his death if he doesn't... There we go! Thank you! <sighs> yes, this is the a lightning-based enemy skill. And now I'm really gonna kick your ass. Oh, buddy. Two meteor rains and a grenade bomb is gonna kill you. I don't care, you are going to the grave. Oh, you caused me a lot of trouble. And a lot of time. Yes, a lot of time. Thank you, and good night, and GTFO. He gives 3,000 experience. Very well worth it. Gives you a gem ring, an accessory, which I believe protects against, like, paralysis and stuff. And the materia he was keeping is the counter materia. This is actually quite helpful. However, much, 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 much like the cover materia... It starts off with a low percentage of actually doing it. We will give Barrett 
the counterattack. Because, well, I mean, come on. It's not necessarily called counterattack, but you get what I mean. Anyway, once you leave Mount Nebel, never come, come back there, please. There's literally nothing left. And as you can tell, I don't want to see it ever again. Anyway, we're coming up to the next town. And of course, another forest. There, I, there's a couple of new enemies over here. You probably won't encounter a lot of them, but... Okay, maybe this is one. Yeah, it is, and it snuck up on... Oh, God! I don't like being in these situations, especially with a Velker task. And yes, I did say that with a German accent. Well, this sucks. Oh, well, Bear will take care of the Nebel Wolves. While we take care of the Velker task. Or did you just not kill those? Barret! Shame on you! Shame on you! You take care of the wolves, and we'll take poison blow. It's not really a blow, though. Well, I guess you consider the fact that he's blowing on him. Please, no sexual jokes. Then, yeah. I guess it's a blow. Anyway, now that that's done... Nah. I'm probably gonna go on for a bit longer. There it is. That's the next town. And is that a leaning rocket? I believe it is. Think about it. Okay, we got a town, we got a rocket. Quick, think of a name. Well, it can't be Town Rocket. It's Rocket Town! Anyway, I can finally do this. Yes. <clears throat> What's that? I don't know. Use your eyes, dummy. A rusty old rocket. I wonder what they'd make something that huge for. Well, think about it. Really. And I love how this place has the old wall market place theme. Anyway, go in here. This is supposedly the weapon store. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Well, yeah, if you went medieval and gun arms wise He really only sells the shotgun, that's the only weapon. He also sells some gold armlets. We'll go ahead and take a couple. Not 11! Why would we need 11? He also sells some of the accessory... Access, accessories? Accessories up to this point. If you want to, you can go ahead and buy a couple. I mean, there's not much point. I'll go ahead and buy a shotgun. That's really all he sells. And there's nothing else. I think... Oh, okay. There we go. There's nothing else in here. You can't rob them. Though I wish you could. There's a rack of guns. And this is the inn. Nothing of too much importance other than you can spend the night. Ask people about what's going on around here. And... Hello? I'm in here. What the hell? Are you masturbating? Whatever. Anyway, go to this house. And these guys are dri driven nuts. I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can get me excited? I don't know, there's a rocket. Jeez, it's boring. Isn't anything exciting going to happen here? Well, you moved into a town with a rusty rocket leaning over. Of course, nothing exciting is going to happen. Anyway, talk to the old man right here. This used to be the Shinra base where they used to launch rockets. You saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground, though. Really? It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. Want to look at the rocket with me? Yeah, let's take a look. 
So I guess that's the official name of the town. Shinra number 26. Kind of an odd name for town, but oh well. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of a hobby. But, out of appreciation, let me give you this. And we get the Yoshiyuki. Ah, I said that wrong. The Yoshiyuki. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. This weapon is a slotless weapon. However, it's for Cloud, and it's not really the brother, but it's similar to Masamuna, which is Sephiroth's sword. Very similar. Anyway, this is the item shop. Again, it's it has your standard stuff. Just like every other item shop. And right I think it's this house actually, is it? No. This house has an old man in it. You can't rob him, there's nothing to rob. Kinda weird. Oh wait, yes there is! The power source. Why did I just start thinking of Resident Evil quote quotes? Damn you, Scottish duck! Not Scottish duck. Who the hell am I talking about? Necroscope. Yes, that's him. Hmm, the dining room. I bet I said that really wrong. Anyway, drill arm. Similar to Yo Yoshi Yu Yuki, but not by much. And you can tell I really suck with Japanese. Anyway. That's really all I want to do this part. But, let's go ahead and do this. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool! The Shinra always keep the most useful things to themselves. Let's steal it! Um, may I, may I help you? Oh, um... No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara, and what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Barrett of Avalanche. I'm Eris. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? I thought the approval of the re reopening of the space program came. Huh? President Ruffus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Ruffus! Yes. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, exit town, save. So, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And in the next part, there's a Fort Condor battle after this. I'm going to off-screen it and show you the reward. But in the next part, we're going to find the captain. Till then.